Dummy variables. What are they? I saw them on Jamal's spreadsheet. Dummy coding is a way of using zeros and ones to describe categorical variables in a way that looks and behaves like quantitative variables. We do that so that we may treat quantitative and categorical variables in the same way as if they were all quantitative. How is that done? It depends on how many categories there are. Think about the categorical variable, gender. It has two categories, male and female. Ah, so we can code male as 1 and female as 0. Is that how it works? Right. You could assign 0 to either gender and 1 to the other gender. That way you create a quantitative variable that retains the functional properties of the categorical variable that you need for your linear model. This practice is called dummy coding. That sounds a little too easy. Is there more to dummy coding? Suppose you had a categorical variable like body image with three categories, overweight, underweight, and just right. How would you code that variable using just zeros and ones? Well, I am not sure if it can be done if all we can use are zeros and ones. You have to use two dummy variables. Jamal calls them dummy one and dummy two. That way you can use pairs of zeros and ones for each category. In my example, we could use zero zero four just right, zero one four underweight, and one zero four overweight. I see. That is very clever. Sarah, does it matter which category is chosen as zero, 00? It does not matter, but it is often convenient to set the control category or the base case category as zero, 00 so that the other two categories may be compared directly with it. So to code two categories we need one dummy variable and to code three categories we need two dummy variables. Is there a pattern here? May I say that to code n categories we need n minus one dummy variables? That is very good, Larry. We always need one fewer dummy variables than there are categories, because the row of zeros will represent one of them. For example, in the case of three categories, zero zero represents one category leaving only two to be coded with ones. It sounds a little confusing. I would like to see it done. I want to see how coding helps us to carry out hypothesis tests of case 1 relationships. Come to the workshop. You will see it done step by step. And also you will get to do it yourself. Workshops are good for that. You'll learn by doing. See you there.